Welcome to another episode of Adobe Spotlight. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at two more of the quick action mini tools that are built into Adobe Express. This video is the third in a series covering the quick action mini tools that are part of Adobe Express. So in those previous episodes, I showed how you can go to express.adobe.com and click here to log in with your school account. Once you've done that, you should be taken to your Adobe Express homepage. Adobe Express enables us to create all sorts of wonderful projects, and I hope that you'll watch my previous episodes to learn all about them. In this particular episode, we're going to focus in specifically on two of the quick action tools that you'll find here, and they are Merge Videos and Change Speed. I'm going to click here on Merge Videos, and it opens up a window that I can use to select at least two videos that I want to turn into one unified video. So here it says drag and drop a video. I could minimize this window or pull it to the side so I can see the desktop, find my video file, and then click and drag and drop it here. But in many cases, an easier way to select a video is just to click here where it says browse on your device. And at this point, just look through your folders and through your computer until you find the videos that you want to merge. So I have two videos here, both of some pit houses at the Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado. And I wish that these two videos were one unified video. Fortunately, this tool can do that for me. So I've just clicked and dragged to select both of these videos. And I'll click open. The two videos now are uploading into Adobe Express. And this can take some time for the videos to upload. So I need to be patient. While they're uploading, notice the order in which the two videos uploaded. My first video shows the pit houses, and the second video shows a sign explaining a little bit of information about the pit houses. In my opinion, it really makes more sense to have the sign come first. So I'm gonna click and drag to reorder the two videos. This is the video that I want to be first. While I'm waiting for the videos to fully upload, I want you to see that in addition to just reordering the videos and eventually merging them together, if I want to, I can click here on the scissors to trim the beginning of the video so that it starts a little later. I could also trim the end of the video if I want to. So it's as simple as clicking and dragging on these handles. And then once I have the video the way I want it to be, I can just click trim. I also have another option that shows up when I click on one of these thumbnails of the two different videos. You can see there's a button here that turns off the audio for that video. And so I could do the same thing here if I want to, just mute the audio. If I decide I don't need all of the videos that I'm uploading into this project, I could just click this button to delete one of the videos. But in my case, I just have the two videos. I want them both, so I'll keep them as is. Notice that we do have another option here at the right, and that is I can adjust the size of the two videos if I want to. Instead of landscape layout, I could switch to portrait layout, or I could switch to square layout. I'm gonna stick with landscape. It fills the screen, it looks good on a TV, a computer or a tablet, or a cell phone that's been turned sideways. It looks like my videos have finished uploading, so I can now click the download button, there's gonna be some processing that takes place and then my merged video will download to my computer in my downloads folder. My merged video is downloading. Once it's done, I'll click to open it up and we can play the video and I'll skip ahead. You can see that the two videos merge seamlessly together. This is now just one video. I'm gonna X out of that video and go back into Adobe Express so we can look at one more quick action mini tool that's in Adobe Express. It's called Change Speed. So I'm gonna click on that. Once again, I have the same interface and I can click to browse my device. I'm going to upload one of those same videos again, but this time, instead of being a 15 second video, I'd like this to be super slow. Let's make it a slow motion video. So now, if I were to download this video at this point, it would be not 15 seconds, it would be one minute long. So that's gonna slow it down considerably. I could also, instead of going with super slow, I could just change it to slow. This will be 30 seconds instead of 15 seconds. And then I also have the option to go fast instead of 15 seconds, 10 seconds, or super fast, 
so seven seconds. If I want to, I can mute the audio, which may or may not be what you want. If I don't mute the audio, the voices, the sounds will sound much faster, almost like chipmunks. So in many cases, you'll want to mute the audio. If you really want to, you can trim out the end of the video or the beginning of the video so that the clip is even shorter than it would have been just by speeding it up. But in this case, I'm happy with super fast and muted audio. I'll click the download button and some processing is taking place. All of my choices and adjustments are being made to the video. And then once the processing is done, I'll be able to download this to my computer. Looks like the processing has finished and it's being downloaded. I can now open it up. Let's try the video. This used to be 15 seconds long. Now it's a little more than seven seconds and it's very fast. So I hope you can see some potential uses for these two quick action mini tools, change speed and merge videos. Thanks for watching this episode of Adobe Spotlight and I hope you'll join me again in a future episode.